Snap, written by Hazel Hutchins, illustrated by Dusan Patricic. Evan had a brand new set of crayons, perfect in every way until Snap. He tried ordering the brown crayon back together. He tried pressing the brown crayon back together. He tried taping the brown crayon together. Nothing worked. Finally, he held it out and stared at it hard. As if, by magic, something changed. One broken crayon became two crayons. Evan drew ocean waves, tiger stripes, and fireworks. Other crayons broke, becoming more doubles, and even triplets. Snap! A piece was crushed. Scritch! Evan made furry spots. <coughs> And when pieces lost their wrappers, Evan found ways to scotch them sideways across the page. Sometimes surprising things appeared beneath. Evan now had a mixed up messy one or more of every set of crayons. He kept right on coloring and drawing until plip, plink, plonk. His only green crayon fell under the stairs. He tried fishing out. He tried coxing it out. He tried breaking it out. Green was gone for good. Evan felt like throwing things, but instead he scribbled. Red, orange, yellow, no green, blue, purple, brown, black. Red, orange, yellow, no green, blue, purr. He stopped and started once again, as if by magic something had changed. Where yellow and blue crossed, there was green. Evan became so interested in mixing colors that he didn't actually see the black crayon disappear. And once he knew that red and yellow could be used as a backup, he himself used up all the orange. And purple monsters were so perfectly putrid with red and blue mixed in that he just kept working without noticing an unusual visitor. Swoosh! A sudden gust of wind came next. Evan sprawled across the paper to protect things, but the last brown and purple were swept away. Evan now had a very small set of crayons. Red, yellow, blue. They were the exact three colors to still make an entire rainbow. But it was finished. The pieces were very, very tiny. This time, a truly special change would be needed. He waited and watched and hoped. And yet, even while he hoped, Evan knew it wasn't really about magic. He looked at the pieces in every way he could. Think of sideways, backwards, and finally, standing on his head, suddenly his thoughts flipped upside down. Which is when Evan, all on his own, turned an ending into a beginning. And more, more discoveries, discoveries were soon to follow. follow.